Hello again, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Darkness. And uh, I just realized that we were actually going the right way. Uh, we were in the old tower, and we got uh, we got our asses kicked basically by uh, by some bone thieves. Actually, our sanity is what took the most damage, just because uh, I accidentally shot that lady in the face. And uh, in this game, when you shoot civilians, um, it takes its toll on your sanity. Because clearly, you must be crazy to shoot an innocent person. So. We will go here. This is what I was looking for all along, was I just wanted this bladed weapon, because I just find it better to wield against the undead. And you will recognize this sword as the same sword that uh, both Anthony as well as Paul Luther used in their uh, chapters. Maybe we can combine it with some uh, with some bullets. Eh? Shoot things with a sword? I don't know. So let's use that. As much as I like using a gun... We're going to use a sword instead. Okay. That's all we have to do in that old tower. So, now we will go back to the door, which we just installed a door handle for. I'll let Peter take his time, because I really don't want to, uh... I don't want him to be out of breath. Okay. Although it's not nearly as bad as Roberto. He had really poor stamina. All right, folks. Some rifle ammo. Anything else in here I can use? Probably. More ammo. More ammo. Excellent. I do like this sword, though. Ah, uh, we'll mix it up. If there's a horror that comes around, I'll probably enchant my rifle and use it against him. But for now, we'll just carry on with the sword. These corridors look familiar, don't they? Oh my god! Oh no you don't. Oh no! Just get away from me, sir! There we go. Thank you very much. Okay. God, our sanity is taking a beating. Just like that. Ha <laughs> ha There you go. Excellent. I hate these bone thieves. I really do. Thank God. That one's just a zombie. Ah, he's using the uh, the Paul Luther way of uh, finishing off enemies, just beating them senseless with the sword, which works just fine. Okay then. Uh, there we go. Excellent. Thank you, Manta Rock. Okay, so I think. Oh, there we go. We'll be going this way. All right. Down we go. Ever descending into the darkness, if you will. And there's a horror. So, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> Terrible things. Enchant item. Cast. That was, uh... There we go. Thanks, lady. And let's take care of that thing, shall we? Boom! Headshot! Boom! He ah! No. That's right. Boom! Headshot. And down you go. Excellent. Ha! Thank you very, very much. Maybe we'll hang on to that for a bit. <clears throat> okay. Huh. We got some options. Um. Let's go this way. Oh, jeez. I need 
Got you, gun. Aha! Aha! And reload if you would, please, my friend. There you go. What are you going to discover, Peter? Why don't you... yeah. Target, damn it! Oh, no you don't, little fella. Hate these bloody things, folks. I hate them, I hate them. A tattered leather. Letter. Not leather. Another soldier's letter. Let's read it, shall we? <clears throat> it's been two weeks since Haskell went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the... Ugh, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed, drugged and delirious in the dead of the night, never to be seen again. As Hasco was, perhaps I will... perhaps as I will be. <clears throat> what happened to them, I don't know. I'm afraid to ask what happened. For I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken into the darkness. Yeah, that's, that's probably a pretty safe bet, Pete. Okay... Row upon row of books dedicated to occult lore and arcane science. Ah, of course, it's the push wall. Push door. Whatever. There you go, Peter. And uh, some more of our little friends. Boom! <laughs> Sorry, little fella. It had to be done. And I'll just borrow this. Ha 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 ha. How did that not kill you? Whoop. And finish him. What have you found, buddy? A key lies upon the accursed shrine, glinting in the soft candlelight. A binding hall key. I don't think I like this room. Sorry, again, that it's so dark, folks. It's a dark place. There we go. So next, um, I think, I think it's this way. Hmm. I don't remember this game. Perfectly. But I think that's where I want to be. So... Oh, come on now. Oh, that makes sense. There we go. Oh, Peter, you walked on one. Okay. Let's... Let's just try to... Get that one. Ha-ha! <laughs> Why don't we recover some sanity, shall we? Boom! Don't mess with a journalist. There we go. Perfect. Nice work, Peter. Cover some of that. Excellent work. And let's get you back to the land of the living. Oh, yes. Of course, we can't leave without saying goodbye, can we? There we go. You get that sanity back, buddy. Excellent work. Back you go. That sucks because I, I can't see them. <laughs> oh, got one. I got another one there. 
Any more? Anybody else? I don't hear them, so that's a good sign. Ooh, what if we hear? A milky blue bottle stands on the altar. Magical elixir. Sounds great. A small milky blue bottle stopped with a uh, stoppered with a chipped cork. The magical elixir will restore all of Peter's magical energy. Sounds great. And folks, we are getting ever closer to reaching that giant monster that uh, crushed our good friend Paul earlier. Which we will no doubt be defending. Or avenging, if you will. So I guess we want to go this way. Okay. This door is locked. Will this help? Of course it will. Oh, fuzz. Oh. <laughs> Let's put the correct ammo in it. There we go. Take that. Oh, for... Alright. I was gonna make that kind of badass, but... That's fine. I am fine with just using a blade. There we go. Yeah, never wait till you're near the enemy to reload. You should probably do it ahead of time. Like so. Good. We're prepared. What about you? Oh, come on. Equip. Mix with that. There we go. Okay. Let's carry on, shall we, folks? We're getting very close now. Don't mind me. I'm just a simple journalist. Who's packing heat? A soldier's cold and stiff body lies sprawled on the steps. Peter attempts to flip the corpse over to discover his identity, uh, identity, but all that is left of the man's face is a ruined mass of eaten flesh. Great. Let's go see what did that, shall we? Yeah, same deal. What is this? Magical attack, eh? Why would it be here of all places? in this corridor. Magical attack spell. Great. Okay. Was that, was that the right one? Ah, there we go. I might as well make that. There we go. Now we're prepared. I assume that that magical attack will come in handy in the near future, if you know what I mean. Who's left? Who else wants a pe- Oh dear. There's a fancy door. We all know what's on the other side of that, folks. Okay. Maybe what we'll do here... Magical attack. Nope. A sign. We'll do a three point. Um, there. And then we'll do a five point. There. So five, three, five. Okay. Good. The corridor is ended by an elaborate door, decorated in a manner uh, much different than the others within the cathedral. Peter senses an unbearable evil beyond that door. When he reaches it to open it, fear creeps into his gut and begins to eat at his soul. Should Peter open the door? Ooh, I don't know, folks. I'm going to save once more, because I'm sort of paranoid like that. Okay, let's do this. Open the door, Peter.
Where's your gun? This looks promising, doesn't it, Peter? Hello? Oh, rats. That's what I need to get to. Oh, yes. Of course. Hello. I'm Peter Jacob. And I've covered wars, you know. Oh dear. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Oh dear. What are you gonna do with those? <laughs> Our machinations are timeless, Peter. Your life. Is not. Uh, how do you know my name? Ow! Okay. Look at this! How's that feel, jackass? What else you got? Huh? What else you got? Oh, jeez. Ow. And we'll do another one of these. Boom! <laughs> I knew that strategically placed magical attack scroll would come in handy. Please don't throw your balls at me. Uh. And one more. There you go, buddy. <laughs> oh dear. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh no. Oh fuzz. How about this? Ha 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 ha! Oh jeez, they're going to explode now! Actually, why don't we have some of that magical elixir? There we go. So we're using a, um, a slightly stronger version of this spell now. Right now. There we go. Boom. That's right, big fella. Uh oh. Oh no. That's not a lot of room to work, sir. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh jeez. He's going to kill me. Please don't hurt me, sir. I've covered wars. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> That's right. Oh, jeez. Just watch your footing, Peter. <laughs> you don't want to get crushed just like that. Oh. Peter, that's just silly. Oh, run your little heart out, Peter. Have a taste of that, you big ape. Oh. Please don't hurt me. I've got a story. I've got a scoop. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Are you done? 
I'd say you definitely are done. Ha! Beaten by a human. You big idiot. And I broke your favorite window. What of it? Okay. That went well. Whew. You're no Bowser. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Let's retrieve that artifact, shall we? With the Guardian of Ulyald vanquished and the stained glass that kept it hidden laying in pieces, lying in pieces, the essence of Zelotath, Zelotath is now liberated. Its magic beckons to Peter, calling to him. He approaches cautiously. Should Peter retrieve the essence of Zelotath? Yes, he should. He carefully lifts the artifact from its resting place. Peter has acquired the essence of Zelotath. Nice work, buddy. 69 years later. And that was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I'm sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. For the gift. For an unusual objet d'art. Edward's solution to everything is to have a drink, isn't it? Okay, folks, we've completed Peter Jacobs' chapter. An excellent chapter, I must say. Could have done without all the bone thieves, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, you feeling, Alex? You're reeling from that, haven't you? Uh, having stopped reading, Alex discovers a small penny taped to the back of Peter's chapter page. There's his lucky penny! So, if we have that, then what's powering the cathedral? Oh, dear God. Okay, folks, well, we'll stop that there. In the next video, we will have Alex, once again, continue to explore the mansion, and we will find the next chapter page, wherever it may be strewn about. So we shall see you then!